Ooh, morning, evening, and possibly possible night beautiful humans. It's Nick the Sweat here again today. It's going to be our third episode in the Halo 5 single player campaign Let's Play series. We're currently on the Glassed mission. So, let's keep it going. I tried to warn you this was happening. Cortana is no longer an asset, Captain. She is a danger. She has access to the Forerunner domain. A galaxy-spanning network Cortana's that allows alive? her to control whatever devices caused this damage. How is she? Master Chief believes she contacted him. What? No. As long as you tried. Her. He's gone in search of her. You let him go? How is Nobody it lets the Chief do anything. He does what he wants. And until 0631 this morning, when he was declared absent without leave. This isn't about the Master John Chief. John is not equipped emotionally to deal with her as a threat. Hey! Is anyone going to answer me? You're out of line, Roland. Yes, sir. No. So is everyone else. Because you only she Cortana, Doc, has one arm. And now you're throwing her out the airlock with these accusations. Roland. You think she tricked the Master Chief into abandoning his post? Respectfully, sir, to what end? Why is Cortana the problem? Because she refused to die when she was supposed to? That's... Quite intelligent. You're okay with this? If I do say so myself. Just another target, you know. As a every target is just another target, Buck. Non Cortana. Yeah. For you maybe. Uh I love being an ODST. Just point and shoot. None of this gray area BS. Yeah. I mean, how are we even supposed to bring them in? You wouldn't even have to reload. No. See. Because armor lock. Armor restraint. Short circuit their suit systems. The lock. Every other Spartan. Every soldier, when they hear about this, they're gonna hate us. You know that, right? You're not the only one here because of him. You do now. What year was that? Definitely too much to calculate. It was a UNSC colony then, but we never came back. Run by a private corp now, chipping away the glass, making her livable. Why are we taking a long way down? Because it's polite. Grew up on an indie colony like Meridian. Folks out here don't take well to the UNSC landing in the middle of town. Tend to see it as an act of aggression. Not when... Speaking of acts of aggression... The elevator. Forerunner ships. What the hell are Forerunners doing here? Maybe we're not the only ones here for the Master Chief. Is that long? Whoever the hell is on my elevator, identify yourself. This is Spartan Jameson Locke, UNSC. Uh, a lot of you. To whom am I speaking? This is Governor Sloan, and you. The governor didn't seem to want our help. Well, he's gonna get it anyway. Spartans? What the hell are Spartans doing here? What's going on? Meridian Station's under attack. Sloan's trying to put up a fight, but I, I got family up there. They ain't on. Osiris, the people of Meridian Station need our assistance. What the hell are those things? That's why we wouldn't take your guns. Meridian. <laughs> 
Meridian Control. We need you to open the doors to the space elevator. But it's overrun! Open the doors so we can help. Damn it, Kyle! Do it! Fine, go! Does opening the door help? Well, if you're a stranger in a distant land, of course. Case is on lockdown. No way out. There must be a way to shut down the security system. Yeah, eliminate the threat, then lockdown ends. So, kill everybody. We're trying, Governor. Security tower doors jam. Automated turrets. Those could be useful. Could be. Keywords. How many does one need? Once? Twice? Thrice! They still shooting like they don't know where the boat steam bear. Today, guys. Looks like we're all clear. Spartans. Was that your doing? We just helped, Governor. Your people did a lot. This road will lead straight to Meridian Station. Go mobile. Take that mongoose. We were just helping, man. I wouldn't even honk at okay, you. You get us there, I'll shoot him. Report River. Report in. Cover this load. The Cord River Bridge is sealed. But we're under heavy assault. What do we do? Make damn sure they don't get through to town. Just drive. The bridge, Osiris can help a radio station. Those monsters will follow. No way. If you it's the only help, thing you ever bridge. have to do. I'll be damned. 
Propaganda about Spartans doesn't lie. Listen, across the bridge, closer to town, there's others that could use your help. We can do that, sir. All right, opening up. Got one! I thought he was scratching his beard. Spartans, my people in the service garage could sure use your help. Well, they might just have a scorpion. They have a tank. Why do they have a tank? Here, towards it, Dale. That's why they give away tanks. If you could clear out the land between where you are and town. Of course, Governor. Wow. The quick turnaround from get off my planet to hey, can you help? Where's he's talking to us? It's a start. Right on our doorstep, Spartans. Thought you were keeping them away from us. Osiris, clear the area so they can open the gates. Still driving. Has inverted like pilot controls? Question mark or exclamation point? Situation doesn't matter if you're still driving. <laughs> I'm sorry. Like you've done it. Never 
thought I'd thank the UNSC for a damn thing, but I do thank you, Spartans. That's why I know. You'll remember him. I'm out of the Warthog. Ready when you are. Governor Slow, I was hoping we might have a word. Come in and Shoot from the hip. Complete glass without any players using smart link. Tanaka, what kind of welcome can we expect this far out? A frontier colony like this? Not much. Yeah, they must have been using dumb link. Cause bitch, where? I wonder if the Spartans got their songs talking to you. They're here at Meridian Station with my permission. Is that Governor Slow? They'll be leaving as soon as they came, but till they're gone, treat them as you would any Leander government employee. If you're questioning it, no. Cause you should know by now. AI. What's wrong with him? He looks broken. Rampancy onset. Late stage from the looks. Probably sacrificing resolution for logic cycles. I have welcomed you to my home. Do not be so rude as to make my health a point of conversation. Of course, Governor. My apologies. We're looking for another Spartan fire team. Why so many Spartans here? Why not? Amen. I'm unaware of other UNSC agents in our midst. But you've done right by my people so far. Have your look, but make it quick. Governor Sloan, out. So where do we start looking? The best intel in a place like this comes from the people. Keep your ears open. You're welcome. We learned how to say thank you a long time ago. Was anyone with you at the outpost? Just me. I heard we got hit here and hopped a mongoose back. Right as I left, that ship flew past in the other direction real low. You saw a ship? Any markings? Pound glass, UNSC. It's not my problem if your buddies didn't tell you where they parked. You ought to synchronize your drop zones better next time. Catch that? Sounds like it was a UNSC ship. <laughs> now he actually turns to look at us. Modern patience. What happened over at the comms tower, Ed? A station signal was coming through. Distress call. But then the tower caught fire. Okay, Ed. And Just relax. Your painkillers should kick in soon. We heard yelling about things coming up out of the caves, then screams, then nothing. We might be able to help. Where was that transmission sent from? UNSC swooping down to take our claim. I'll tell you what, our folks at Apogee are plenty strong. Don't think you vultures can pick the bone so fast. Wait, what do you say? Apogee? I think that's our location. It doesn't. So Apogee came under attack, and then a UNSC ship was seen heading that way. Find a network terminal. I want to know more about Apogee Station. Let you. Artemis ought to be able to track down a suitable network terminal. Ping it. Even aim at him. Accessing terminal. Now nah, there's only one terminal. Did I give you permission to poke about? Your people saw a UNSC ship out near Apogee Station. UNSC at Apogee? Why are you people all over my planet? 
With your permission, we'd like to go ask them ourselves. There's a cargo pelican on the Meridian Station landing. Point check. Track. It'll get you out to Apogee the quickest. We appreciate it, Governor. I'm sure you do. Now the pelican prowls. Well, I guess we gotta end this episode here because. It's going to conclude our third episode in the series. But somehow we're already on the fifth mission. But as usual, if you enjoyed, make sure to like, comment, follow, and subscribe. And as always, peace out. Thanks for watching. I love you. Zoop!